Hi, this is Mr. Wassman, and today we're going to study the partial quotients strategy for division. We're going to look at home links 6.4, so let's jump right in. We're going to look at the first story problem about Jordan and her three Great Dane puppies. Jordan has three Great Dane puppies. At six weeks old, their combined weight is 48 pounds. Assuming that they all weigh about the same amount, how much does each puppy weigh? So I'm going to use the ruckus strategy for coming up with my answer. Ruckus stands for read multiple times, underline the question, circle the important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. Now, I'm going to reread this problem, and as I do, I'm going to underline the question and circle important information. I'm actually going to highlight the information because it will be easier to see. Jordan has three Great Dane puppies. At six weeks old, their combined weight is 48 pounds. Assuming that they all weigh the same, about the same amount, how much does each puppy weigh? Now, since the title of this home link is division, we can assume that they want us to divide, so that'll be our action plan. So I'm going to create a number model of a division problem. So I'm going to take... 48 pounds, and I'm going to divide it amongst three puppies. And we need an unknown, so I'll use the letter P for puppies. Now, it asks us to come up with an estimate. Now, to round 48 to the nearest 10, it would round up to 50, which is not easily divisible by 3. So I'm actually going to choose the number 45 as my estimate model because I know that 15 times 3 is 45, so I can reverse that and make it 45 divided by 3 into 15. So that tells me that my answer for my actual problem is going to be around 15. So here's where I use the partial quotients strategy. I'm going to create a traditional long division bracket. It's technically called a vinculum, but we just call it the house. So I'm going to put my dividend, the number I want to divide in the house, and then I'm going to put the divisor, the number of groups I want to make, outside the house. And this is where I start to use my multiplication facts to help me divide this number into three groups. So I have to ask myself, how many groups of three can I get out of 48? Well, three times 10 gives me uh, 30, three times 20 gives me 60. 60 is too big, so I know that I can get at least 10 groups because 3 times 10 is 30. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write the number 10. This is a partial quotient, a partial number of groups I can get out of 48 uh, off to the side, and then I'm going to subtract 48 minus 30. 8 minus 0 is 8, 4 minus 3 is 1, which leaves me with 18. Now, I know that 6 times 3 equals 18, so that means I can divide 18 into 3 groups and get 6 in each group. So I'm going to take 18, which is the product of 6 times 3, and subtract it from the 18 I got before, which is going to leave me with no remainder. So now I have two partial quotients, 10 and 6, which, added together, it's going to give me a total quotient of 16. Now, 16 is my total quotient, so that is the answer to my problem. 48 divided by 3 is going to give me 16, and that's my answer. This is a new strategy, and I know that it's going to be tricky. Uh, we will be practicing this in the days and weeks to come, so if you don't get it right away, hang in there. Uh, if you have any questions, please let us know. Thank you.